For many who were at Orgreave, the black and white images of that day were a reminder of something that happened a long, long time ago. But today's decision brought all of those feelings, all of those experiences, back into the present. Steve Brunt was a young man on the picket line, but news there'll be no inquiry drew his anger right to the surface 32 years later. I am gobsmacked, to be honest, uh, but not surprised, not with a Conservative government. Remember, it was a Conservative government in the miners' strike. It was a Conservative government that did what they did. It was a Conservative government that instructed the police at Orgreave to act like they acted, so I'm not surprised at all. Here at Orgreave, there is no coking plant anymore. Houses cover the site. Time has altered its appearance, but not changed a sense of betrayal. However much this scene may have changed over the last three decades, the memories of the people who took part in that pitched battle are as clear as ever. They may have hoped those memories would form the basis of an inquiry, a review, an investigation. None of those things will now happen. Well, I personally am absolutely devastated and dismayed. I cannot believe it. Deeply shocked because this was not what we were expecting at all. And it's not what the people of South Yorkshire, I think, deserve. And that includes not just the mining communities, but also the police force itself. The miners of South Yorkshire have long memories and they won't forget what happened today any more than they will forget what happened here 32 years ago. Damon Green, ITV News.